guys welcome back i'm going to do another weekend in my life so it is friday afternoon i just got back from my workout class with one of my best friends it was pure bar and they just got a new class called defined it's like way more heavy weight and cardio i guess you could say so we did that and we went to target and i grabbed a few things i'll show you what i grabbed in a minute and then we came home and i made us some smoothies i didn't show you guys that because i don't know why i just forgot but i'll be bringing you guys along the rest of my weekend but let me show you my little target haul it's nothing fun it's all cleaning supplies but first i got these little cotton rounds for my um for my polish choice first or yeah polish choice aha stuff that i like it's like toner that i use before bed so i got some of these i got some bleach for when I clean my bathroom I try not to use bleach too much but for like the bathroom you have to so I got some of that I got a little a fluffy duster I feel like in the um in the commercials they look way fluffier and like they're gonna do a lot more than just this I don't know but <laughs> I got one to dust around the house and I also got these band-aids they're the welly band-aids and it's the like cupcake edition they have a bunch of different kinds with a bunch of cute like little fun stuff on them like this one has some ice cream cones sprinkles and cherries they are adorable and they actually stay on your skin and they're basically waterproof so I had to grab a few more of my little cute band-aids and I needed more hangers for my closet. I somehow ran out of all my hangers. I bought like a hundred pack a while back, but I guess I ran out. So I grabbed a few more and I do want to really deep clean my closet and get rid of a bunch of clothes that I'm not going to use anymore and that I don't like and sell a bunch of like my cheaper purses that I got for like $50 or like around that price range from like princess polly and like just cheaper stores like that that i don't use anymore so i'm gonna clean out my closet and i will do that later or maybe like tomorrow with you guys and then yeah i think i'm just going to shower and get ready i'm gonna go to a coffee shop i need to force myself to edit my vlog from like two weekends ago um it needs to be finished because I just keep getting distracted and last weekend I was traveling with my boyfriend and my parents so I didn't get to do it then and during the week it just gets too hectic with work and every night I make dinner with my boyfriend and my roommate and sometimes her like potential boyfriend so I just feel like my days are always filled up so I need to get that done today there's a cute little coffee shop by my house it's called a little bear and their coffee is really good and they have like a little outside patio and there's this cute store called and stuff right next to it and they always have the cutest stuff in there so i'm gonna go look in there and go to a coffee shop and i think later tonight my boyfriend and i are going to go to a baseball game um we have a minor league team it's called the isotopes supposedly vanessa's husband vanessa hudren's fiance plays on the team which i didn't know that but maybe we'll see vanessa hudgens so i forgot to show you my lovely boyfriend got me some flowers let me show you he got me the tulips and then i wanted to make a little bit bigger of a bouquet so i got these really pretty blue hydrangeas and these white little guys and some eucalyptus which i put majority in my shower but i also put two little guys in here but I made this cute little arrangement and I absolutely love this vase I it's like a really skinny one so everything stays up but I also did the tape trick but it is so cute and I saw this vase on H&M but it was sold out and I didn't want the like greener tinted one. I wanted the clear so I obviously found it on Amazon. I have it linked in my home storefront on Amazon if you want to buy it. I think it was like pretty cheap like $12 or something like that but I think it's so cute. I have this big one on my dresser 
And then I also have this little guy, this one stemmer on my nightstand. And I also have this one in my bathroom. So I just love having fresh flowers around my house and in my room. I have that. And then I put new eucalyptus in my shower. I've only done this once before, but I really like it. This is my little outfit of the day. I just got this active dress from Set Active and it is so cute and flattering. My favorite um, active dresses are from Aloe and Set Active. I just feel like they fit so well. I love Set Active stuff and Aloe stuff. But yeah, it has the green piping, it says set in green, and then the back is really low. It's so cute, and then they have like a whole bodysuit thing under this, and it attaches, I think, at the top. Yeah, so it's not like pulling anywhere, and it is so cute. I'm going to wear this to the baseball game and to golf afterwards, I think, with my vejas but it is really hot so i might wear sandals to the baseball game but i'm about to film a tiktok of all my july favorites and i thought i'd show you guys first so we have the whole lineup right here we are starting off with skincare i've been loving this sunday riley autocorrect eye cream i have really bad bags underneath my eye like just like discoloration i guess you could say it's genetic so i think this has been working so well and my under eyes are sensitive to some products so this does not leave me irritated or anything and then for moisturizer i've been loving this honey halo it is so moisturizing i have pretty dry skin so this has been really helping i put it on at nighttime and if i'm not wearing any makeup during the day just because it is pretty thick i think it'd be a little bit too much if i had to put makeup over it but i love this moisturizer and then this stuff i what is it even called super saturated it's from this like Oh, it's from Experiment, this place. Um, um, they have a few other skincare products. I think they are a newer brand. They're only online. And their stuff and their like website is very trendy. And I would say their packaging is really trendy too. But it is really cute. Like it's glue, blue, goopy stuff. I don't know. But it is really hydrating um this girl on tiktok that i love to follow alex the educated mess she is a like she makes makeup products for um a living and she also has a makeup or she makes skincare products i'm sorry for her job and she is oh it's a cosmetic chemist that's what she is and she also has her own um skincare line as well so she goes through all the ingredients and whether it will be good for you or bad for you or if you could find something that is cheaper elsewhere so she suggested this to all of her followers and it has been sold out for such a long time and i just got my hands on it and i love it i put it on morning and nighttime, and i just went out of town this past week and like i was saying and I didn't take this with me I accidentally forgot and my skin could tell it was like a little bit irritated like around my nose and my mouth and stuff like that but once I got home I started using this and it has really transformed my skin let me change out my battery and then I'll show you the rest okay we are back so for makeup I've been loving my OG makeup brush I use this for foundation bronzer and concealer and I've never been a girl to use on um, the same brush for different steps I always thought it would like make your makeup look bad and like not blend correctly and stuff like that so I've always had separate brushes for literally every single like step in my routine but I loved this um brush I worked with OG a couple of times and they sent this over and I absolutely love it it just blends and feels so good on your skin it's a pretty dense brush up here but it's also very pretty so I've been loving this <clears throat> And I have also been loving this Glossier Skin Tint. It is like so perfect on the skin. It looks like, 
almost like a tinted sunscreen but gives a slightly more coverage i love it so much i'm in the shade um g8 yeah g8 and i love it so much i don't know how i've been using anything other than this i was using some charlotte tilbury new foundation um but it I found that every time I used it, I broke out so bad and I checked all the ingredients and none of it was pore clogging. I just think it didn't really work with my skin. So I switched over to this and I love it so much. <clears throat> and I have three products from Osea. I love this stuff. I is so hydrating. Like I said, my skin is pretty dry and my body skin is as well. So I keep this jumbo one in my shower and I just pat my skin um, with it when I get done before I dry my body or anything like that when it's just a little bit damp. And then I have this one on my like sink countertop in my bathroom like by my perfumes and I just use it before bed or sometimes my boyfriend gives me a massage then and it feels so good i love it so much and it's so hydrating and it has a very mild scent like it's like very i don't even know how to describe it but i'm sure they have the tones online but it smells so good and then also this body butter it is so thick and nice these two came in a pack and i bought this one separately i believe but it is so thick and nice and I love it and it doesn't leave your skin greasy. It like soaks in right away and the oil as well. It doesn't like ruin your clothes or anything um, and it's really nice to put on before bed and it doesn't leave oil marks on my sheets or anything. So I've been loving that. I also went to, what is this place called? Um, La Labo when I was in Austin and I got this hand pomade. And I am not really a hand cream girly, but I really should be because sometimes my cuticles and my hands are really dry. But this stuff, I love it. I put it on right after I wash my hands and it smells so good. This is the um, basil scent and it smells so good. I love it. I don't really love the packaging because when it's when I get lower on it, I feel like it's going to be very hard to get out of this, like, tin-like packaging. But it's very Le Labo of them to have this. It's very, like, rustic. I don't really know. But it is so good on the hands. I think, I don't know how much it was, but I think it was a little pricey. So, I don't know if it's worth it for hand cream, but I really like it. And then, um... For my body, oh yeah, this is the last thing for my body. This Patrick Ta stuff, oh my gosh, it is amazing. This is the travel size that I would say this is pretty, like this is like a lot because it is just like a body glow and I only put it on my chest or I, I used it for the first time last night, but I only put it on my chest and it made my boobs look huge. I don't know like my i don't have like a big chest at all but i just put it on my chest and it just left me with a really pretty glow and it bronzed up my chest and it smells so good it's like i think it has hints of coconut in it and it smells so good but i absolutely love it and i apply it with this little brush i got it on amazon i think it is like a body brush i don't know i have it linked in my storefront if any of you guys want it i don't think it was that expensive i think it was like four dollars or something and it really helps and i really like the bristles they're very soft and moving on to Hair care, I love this Kerastase oil. It is the elixir. I love it. I put it on my hair after I style it and before bed if I remember. And I really like that the packaging is glass. It just makes it feel a lot more luxe. And I really have seen a difference in my hair. I feel like it's softer and when I put it on it just gives a little nice sheen. But it's not oily. And the oil is very like thick if that makes sense it's not a very um light oil and i don't know some people might not like it but it doesn't weigh down my hair at all and i even use it after the dyson but since it is a thick oil i only i don't even put a full pump i put like maybe half of a pump and i feel like it's going to last a long time because i think it is like almost a $40 hair oil and some people might think that's a little crazy but i think it's going to last a long time and i really do like it 
And lastly, I have this hydrate mask from Pureology. They were so kind and sent it, so thank you, Pureology. But I love Pureology. I've been using the shampoo and conditioner forever, and it lasts such a long time. I have the, like, gigantic purple bottles, and this is their hydrate line, but they also sent over their blue line, which I think is for color damaged hair and I do have color in my hair so I gave some <clears throat> I gave some of the mask to my mom so she dyes her hair a lot too because she has a lot of gray in her hair so I gave her the mask and I gave her the purple shampoo bottles and then I kept the blue shampoo bottles and I use that for longer vacations and I kept the purple hair mask. So, um, yeah, I love it. it. Both of them smell, they smell different, but they both smell really good and I really like them. I almost forgot my last favorite is these sunglasses from Jenny Bird. I just got them and I love them so much. They are a funkier frame, but I really like them. And let me try them on. This is the frame and then they have tortoise on the bottom but i absolutely love them i think they are so chic and cute and they did have two different styles of lenses they had this darker brown as you could see and then also like a i think a lot of ray-bans have this color to them it's like a blue like a really dark blue almost black so they do have two colorways if the brown really isn't your style but i love them i think they're so cute and they are very flattering and they don't squeeze your head or anything like that but i love them and also i forgot two favorites my short nails have been my last favorite i love them so so much I hated short nails for the longest time I just felt like my hands looked really ugly but I don't think they look ugly I think they just look really clean and natural the only thing is like I used to like love like brushing out my hair with my fingers like when I'm bored and I would say it's not really the same but I mean that's like probably just a me problem so i love short nails i think they look so much more elegant and put together than long nails and don't get me wrong i will definitely have long nails or like medium nails again i don't think i'll ever have long nails like i normally only get medium length and then they grow out a bit so i would only have medium and short nails i guess again and i love them i think i'm gonna do for my birthday either like a nude and a like um pearly chrome over it or i might do white tips we'll see but that is my last of my favorites while i was filming it my set active came in and i'm so excited because it is some of their loungewear and i'm obsessed i got yellow which is super surprising i haven't liked yellow my whole life and i just started liking yellow like this past month so i am going to try it on for you guys and see if we like it hopefully because i already threw away all the packaging but let me try it on i just needed to show you guys really quick i just tried on the pants and i think the pants are my favorite out of the bottoms they are so cute i love them i don't know if i haven't talked about this on youtube i've only posted one over their youtube video before but um i have everjay pajamas and they are so good they're so soft and cozy but they are also low waisted so this reminds me a lot of my everjay pajamas but definitely gonna keep these and hopefully they come out with new colors i got or there is also a white and a pink but it's like a very pale pink even paler than my sheets so i i just like the yellow which is so surprising so yeah i'm so excited i'm gonna wash these and i'm going to wear them to bed tonight okay i brought you guys into the bathroom because the lighting is really good right here but ee, it is so cute it is this cute little yellow top and these little shorts i love that they're low waisted and I also 
got the matching little yellow pants and they are so cute i love them and i can't wait to wear them it is a little bit see-through if you are gonna consider getting them if they're not sold out so just be aware of that i have little nipple covers on but it is so cute and they're technically pajamas so if you live with your boyfriend or alone i'm sure you'll be fine but i do live with my roommates and one of them is a boy so i don't want to be walking around with my nipples out so i have the nipple covers on but in any other situation it would probably just be fine to wear your pjs so i love them they're so cute and i need to quickly make some dinner i'm going to make pasta i'm going to show you guys my one pot pasta it's so good these noodles i get from trader joe's are the best and i need to make it really fast because my boyfriend's going to be coming over soon so we could go to the baseball game but yeah i just wanted to show you guys real quick my new little pajama set i love pajamas i am never not wearing a pajama set fun fact about me i am so type a and crazy and i just love to be put together even when i'm asleep so yeah i am so excited for these and this is technically like a little bit of like kind of loungewear i guess you could say um so i will maybe wear this just like around the house as well so ee, i'm so excited and so hungry so let's eat I'll show you my little one pot pasta recipe it is first you just put on medium heat some chopped up onions and garlic and some crushed red pepper and you let that simmer until the onions are clear and then you guys this is the pasta i was talking about this pasta from trader joe's is so good i have already some in my little containers that i need to fill up once i put some in here but then you will just add water and if you want like spinach or anything i might add spinach and basil and some lemon juice now that the onions and everything in here are ready to go we are going to add some water and some pasta what this does it is that it will cook with all the onion and garlic and red peppers already in it i'm also going to add some salt and pepper but it's going to taste even better than just you cooking your pasta in normal water and some salt and it's going to basically soak up all that water and also the water is going to evaporate so there's going to be almost no water left in the pot and then we're going to add in some rouse tomato basil sauce and add some spinach basil to top it some cheese and lemon juice and it's going to be so yummy we are now going to add the lemon in now that it's cooked for a few minutes just cart it up over me okay so the lemons in we're gonna give it a little stir and add back on the top for a few more minutes the pasta has absorbed all of the water so now I'm gonna put my fave rouse tomato basil sauce in if I could get it open okay. we're not gonna get this on me And I put a generous amount, and I'm just going to mix that all in. Add some spinach. Probably just a handful. Probably should have done this in a bigger pan, but this is okay. Give it a little stir till it cooks down actually going to pour myself some red wine to go with this because we are going to a game and i'll probably get a margarita there so i'm just going to start a little bit earlier <laughs> this is one of my faves from trader joe's it is a red blend and it is so good if you're new to red wines i would definitely start with this because it's not too dry or bittery or anything like that glasses are my favorite i don't know if you could tell but they're huge this is an next to my case but again I'm going to try to not spill on myself oh my gosh cheers 
Cheers. I'm gonna go put this by the couch where I'm gonna eat so I don't spill it on myself. And I'm gonna serve myself a little plate. Fresh basil. We had a plant, but I used all of it. So we do need to get another one. Me is I love basil. I don't really like cheese, but I'm gonna put a little. Tell me that is not the best looking pasta you've ever seen in your whole entire life. This is the new set active and it is so cute. I wanted to show you guys my clothes that I got from Reformation. I got this really pretty silk like beige top. It is so cute. It has the ties up here and then it has the ruching in the back and on the side. It is so cute i love it so much and even if i wore it with high-waisted stuff i feel like i could tuck it in or i could like go like this to make it a little bit more casual but i wanted this to just have a little bit more um coverage in tops if i have something to go to with like my boyfriend's parents or like a work event or something like that so i was thinking about wearing this with like high-waisted black jeans to work and a little white cardigan maybe in the fall i thought that would be really cute and obviously i would wear a bra with this if i went to work but i think it's so adorable i got two other shirts so let me show you there's this one which i think is so adorable to wear with a dark denim this is going to be absolutely so cute it just looks like that in the back and it is double lined so it's not going to be see-through or anything. It is so adorable and dainty and cute. And I've been wanting this one for a really long time. So I'm glad I got it. I also wanted to say their fit fits so well. It is extremely expensive. But I kind of see why everything is made such good quality. And fit is literally perfect. Is this one this one may be a little bit hard to see just because it is all black but it has a really cute detailing right here the little buttons and the ruffles I think it's so adorable it does it is a little bit hard to put on just because it's like very fitted on the side and oh, there's a zipper that's why it was so hard to get on so I love it so much and if you know me I don't wear a lot of black at all, so it was interesting that I liked this top so much, but I think I really like it. It's really cute, and I feel like in the winter, this is going to be like a staple, so yeah, I think it's really cute, and I love all of them. Um, I have just been kind of laying low. I just drank some tea. I need to finish up some laundry, but my cramps hurts so bad i have the iud and i've had it for like five years now i think the estrogen or progesterone or whatever the hormones are starting to wear off because last time i saw my gynecologist she was like you might experience some bleeding and stuff like that just because it's been like five years so i might have to get out and get another one put back in because i hate cramps so bad and i get them so so bad like when i got my IUD inserted it just felt like my cramps and it's very painful to get an IUD inserted so that's something I need to think about but I am about to get my period so my cramps have been hurting me so bad and my back hurts so bad so I think I just want to relax today finish up laundry and like watch my tv show with my roommate and make a very yummy dinner and put a heating pad on my tummy so i will chat to you guys a little bit later um, 
Good morning everyone. I forgot to vlog the rest of the day but golf yesterday was so much fun. It was a little hot outside so we got a little sunburned but I think today it just turned into a tan but it was so fun. I went with me, my boyfriend, my roommate and her guy she's talking to and then our other friend couple and it was super fun. We went just went to the driving range um, by the golf course by my house and we made breakfast beforehand at our house and it was so much fun. I definitely want to do it again in the future. We're thinking about doing like pickleball and tennis as well before it gets too cold but I am just doing my bedding as laundry. It's in the wash right now and then when I get home I'm going to do the rest of my laundry. About to head off to my workout class. I'm gonna go to a classic class at Pier Bar and then we're gonna come home and have a little get your life together Sunday but I just wanted to pop on and say a good morning and that I didn't vlog yesterday and I'm sorry um oh yeah we made my roommate and name my roommate and I made um artichoke spinach artichoke dip last night um it was so yummy normally I don't really like dips and stuff like that but it was so 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 good we ate it with some gluten-free pita chips because she's gluten-free but the chips tasted so normal and they were so good so it was so yummy and I can't wait to clean my room and get everything situated because yesterday was kind of a lazy day for us we watched sex education it is such a good show and it is so addicting so we watched that um majority of the day and just had some little time on the couch which was much needed and was so relaxing but today we are going to get our lives together i just got home from my workout class and i watered the flowers out in front and in the back and now i am just cutting my tulips because they have grown a little too tall and i don't want them to start bending so i'm just cutting them and putting them back in but I love this arrangement. My hydrangeas have never done so well before. I normally get them at Whole Foods and I feel like those would last better. But I got these ones at Trader Joe's and they have been lasting so good. I um, never really see hydrangeas at Trader Joe's. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like they don't normally sell them especially the blue ones um but anytime i see them from now on i might have to pick them up because they're so adorable and i think it helped that i kind of put these other white ones in as well to help like keep them poofy but i love hydrangeas i have ew there's a bug in there i didn't really like hydrangeas and peonies but like the last two years maybe one year i have really started liking them a lot i think they're so pretty and yeah i just like how they're just like little puffy balls but i have never really liked them before tulips have always been my favorite but look how good it looks now i'm gonna put this back in my room and i'm also gonna fill up the water a bit more but they're so cute and i just hate that tulips die so easily they just don't have a really long lifespan but they are my favorite so i will continue to get them i am finishing up my avocado toast i just put Avocado, a bunch of seasonings, red pepper flakes, arugula, cilantro, and now I'm gonna add my fried egg on. I love, oh it popped a little bit, but I love an avocado toast with arugula and cilantro. If you haven't tried it, you definitely should because it's so good if you like those two things. Here is my little breakfast. I'm so excited. I'm gonna add some of this garaza sauce on top of it. This olive oil is so good. I didn't know that there was like higher end olive oil and it makes your food taste 
so much better and cook so much better so i am going to enjoy my little breakfast with my coffee and watch some youtube before i clean a little bit more i already did my bathroom and like wiped down everything in my in my room and out here in the kitchen but i still need to do a bunch of laundry i need to do the whole shower like i need to wash my hair shave my legs and all that so i'm going to relax a bit maybe for like an hour or so and then get to it again just showered and i'm in my everjay pjs i love these they are the coziest softest material and like i said i'm a pj stan i love pjs they are a little bit expensive but i definitely think they're worth it i love them so much and they come in a bunch of cute colors i have the um pants and long sleeve set in pink and it's really cute but i am all ready to for bed my sheets are clean and my roommate and i made this really yummy dinner we made steak mashed potatoes and this arugula salad i will have to show you guys in a coming vlog the recipe because it is so good but i am all ready for bed i'm about to do my little face led and go to sleep early it's nine and i will hopefully be asleep by 10 so i just wanted to say good night and thanks for watching i love you